Hi, my name is Danny Marti, and this is my submission for the Character Creator tool. Here is the customization tool, and before we start, I wanted to mention that uh, I'm originally from Barcelona, but uh, I lived in California, and I'm currently living in Hawaii, and I have been surfing since I was uh, 14 years old. So I'm very familiar with the surfing and the skateboarding aesthetics and culture. And I wanted to give some of that personality to the UI. I didn't want to spend a lot of time uh, designing the UI, but I wanted to give some of that personality. So the UI has been inspired by the skateboarding, uh, the graffiti and the tattoo aesthetics. Here uh, we have four slots to create our characters. I'm gonna choose the first slot. And then in the next step, we can choose uh, a male or a female, and uh, we can rotate the characters so we, we can have a, a better look of uh, how the characters look. And um, yeah, I'm gonna choose, let's choose the male. And then in the next step, uh, we can customize our character. So here I can rotate the character as well. I can zoom in and zoom out. And here I wanted to mention that I know one of the requirements was to have uh, four different characters to choose from. But I wanted to um, do this uh, from a different approach. And uh, instead of having pre-made uh, characters, we can create our own character. So, for example, if we want to make him more fat, we can do that. Or maybe we want something more muscular, so we can have somebody who is yeah, very muscly, or perhaps having somebody who is very tall. Or even we could do like a mix of all of them because this is, uh, this is done by using um, morph targets. So that, that allows us for a very um, extensive uh, customization. But uh, for this example, let's just have somebody who is a little bit just a little bit muscular. Then the next step, uh, it's the hair. So maybe we want to zoom in a little bit and I created different hairstyles, so we can choose, for example, this one. And then we can have different facial hair as well. So maybe a mustache or a goatee or maybe a beard. Let's go with the goatee. Then next step is the tattoos. So we can have uh, this one, or yeah, I'm going to show all the tattoos I added, so we can have that one or that one. I wanted to mention as well that for this UI, um, we could have uh, icons instead of uh, sliders, but uh, because I wanted to work a little bit faster and the slider style, it's easier to develop, so because I don't have to create each icon. Um, that's why I created uh, the tool using uh, sliders, but for a production tool we could totally use icons that I think it's uh, visually more appealing and easier for the, for the player. Uh, finally, uh, we have the clothing. Well, let's, let's change his tattoo for a second. Uh, for example, this one. Then for the clothing, uh, yeah, in the same way, we can have different, uh, like, uh, shirt. Maybe let's do a white t-shirt. And we can add the pants. And here, um, and then finally the shoes. So maybe the white shoes. And here I wanted to show, once we have uh, the hair and the clothes, we could go back to the body. And let's say we wanted 
we want him to go back and be very tall. So uh, as you can see, the morph targets not only affect the body, but they affect the, the clothing as well. So that's very powerful because allow us to create very mm, personal uh, characters. Let's make him a little bit <laughs> not that tall and maybe a little more muscly. Since he's a skateboarder, so he's probably like thin, but still muscly from doing all of those tricks in the street and probably <laughs> running from the cops. So um, yeah, let's say we are happy with this version, with this character. I'm gonna press the square on my controller and yeah, here we save the, the character. We can go back and restart the tool. And as you could see, uh, it took like a little second to load the character. That's why, that's because it has been, the, the tool has been loading uh, all the settings that we stored. And once all of that uh, information has been loaded, then spawns the character and uh, applies the editing to the character. So uh, we still have three slots and we could go back to our character and let's say, oh, we want to change something, make some edits. So I'm gonna select it. And then let's say, well, you know, I think maybe the, the other t-shirt looks better on him. So I could have this one and say, well, uh, yeah, let's save it. So now we have our character there. So this concludes uh, the presentation for the tool. I wanted to mention that for this customization tool, I could use MetaHumans, but I wanted to show a different approach. Instead, I use Character Creator Humans. They have the same features like the body and face, live caption and animations. They have the realistic anatomy, uh, textures and shaders. But the Character Creator um, Humans are more optimized. They use less bones and less um, geometry, which makes them more performant and easier to rig and animate. On the other hand, we have more control and they are easier to customize uh, regarding their bodies and their faces. And it's easier to create different hairstyles and custom clothing. I think you can find this approach uh, more interesting and it offers many more possibilities than the limitations that we have uh, using MetaHumans. I hope you like this customization tool and thanks so much for this opportunity.